on guys i'm here live um we're at here at the nancy hart uh log cabin we're going to take a look and see at the some of the plaques and stuff this is part of the revolutionary war so we're going to take a look this right here is the Elbert county it says Elbert county legendary nancy hart was born in the 1740s in the northeast she, buried, she married Benjamin Hart of Virginia, and the couple moved south along with their eight, eight children to the Broad River area of Elbert County area, 1771. Her American Indian neighbors knew her was knew her as Wahachi, meaning of war woman. They named the creek in the area Wahachi in honor of her. Hart was... Hart was described as tall, muscular, red-haired, fiery-tempered, and cross-eyed. While living in this area, the the Revolutionary War erupted, and the incident making her famous occurred. She earned heroin status through various acts of bravery, including the event when a party of five loyalists from the British camp in Augusta crossed the river and arrived at her cabin demanding she give them food. She quickly pointed out that the family had only re one remaining turkey due to the rest of the flock being killed by a previous group of Tories. With that, one of the soldiers killed the lone turkey and demanded that Hart cook it, and she gradually prepared the meal. She listened to the soldiers talk and learned that they had killed her friend and neighbor, Colonel John Dooley, in my last video, he was one of the colonels in the Battle of Kettle Creek. Hiding her anger, Hart brought out plenty of food and drink. She told stories and generally, generous, generously passed around plenty of whiskey. Hart sent her 13-year-old daughter, uh, Suki, to the spring for water, but whispered instructions for her to blow the conch shell, warning the men in the fields of danger at home. Meanwhile, Around her log cabin serving the men, she slipped the soldiers' muskets through the chinks in the wall. She had dis she had disposed of all but three when one of the men caught her. As the soldiers tried to rush her, Hart leveled her gun at them and dared to the men to move. Because Hart was cross-eyed, the soldiers could not gauge the direction she was aiming one one man mistakenly thought her gun was pointed in a different direction, and when he went for his gun, Hart shot him. The second soldier made a move and was likewise shot. The third soldier made his move and was also killed by Hart's gun. At a time, Ben Hart, her husband, and the other men arrived. The group took the rest of the Tories outside to be shot, but Hart relayed the story of the group having murdered John, Colonel John Dooley and reportedly said, shooting's too good for him, hang him. And we'll go, you know, right over here is where uh, she she demanded her her 13 year old daughter, Suki, to get, to get water when the men had come up to her house demanding food and water. And that is, is it was a well um from underground so it was really a pump well so they had to uh use use this thing right here to pump and turn on the faucet to get water and we're gonna take a look at we're gonna take a look at the house there's a little outhouse not quite sure if that was from back in those times in the 1700s but um, let's take a look. All right. So, this is the cabin. As you can see, the fireplace. And the opening windows. You can see it was made from the original. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Uh, it was made from the original. 
of wood that they had or was laying around. They probably used some mud plaster to get those rocks to stay together. And this is the other side. Another window. And yep. And this is the front door. Also these were made uh from rocks together room. And we're gonna walk down here to the picnic area. <coughs> Sorry about my finger, you guys. So basically see see is a big part in the, in the Revolutionary War um, between the British that were coming from Augusta and the between the Loyalists and the, and the Tories uh, and the, the the soldiers the British ones that came uh, burst into our house that uh, were demanding food and water she shot and until the spoilers from uh, her husband came and rescued them and this one says a little plaque it says spring made famous by Nancy Hart pioneer woman revolutionary heroine only woman for for whom Georgia named a county and this was actually made in 1936. There's a little picnic area. People come out here sometimes. And this is the whole area from where she where she lived. And right off of River Road in Elbert County. So basically, uh, she was, she played a, a pretty good part in the Revolutionary War, and according to, or with her, her husband, Benjamin Hart, from Virginia, uh, and this, this is her home, and if you guys, um, want to go ahead and hit the subscribe button or you have any questions or suggestions or comments leave them in below and and give me a thumbs up if you would uh, so thanks for watching sorry let me get back to where there we go thanks for watching my video and Give me a subscribe or just give a, a, a good, give a watch. And thanks for watching. They're still going.